The Untouchables present to you the system that changed it all. In our presentation, we will be discussing team member roles, course objectives, project objectives, FPM TV show summary and concepts, milestones one and two, character summaries, episode summaries and themes, general conclusions on management, group and individual reflections, and citations. Now let's take a moment to meet our team members. We first have Sean Bates, who is our group leader, a TV show director, writer, actor, and animator. We have Rachel David, who is a video editor, actress, management, theme creator, and animator. Next we have Jacinia Vasquez, who is a narrator, a character creationist, a concept creator, and had a hand in animation design. Next is John Van Decker, who was an actor, designer, and also had a hand in animation design. Finally, we have Sarah Myrick, who worked on animation design and was also a narrator. These are the Principles of Management course objectives. Upon completion of this course, students will be able to do the following, including describe and discuss the basic functions of management, Describe and explain the concepts involved in organizing. Explain and apply concepts of motivation in organizations. And discuss the use of groups and teams in organizations. Overall project objectives. The final result of this group project is a collaboratively completed 14 to 21 minute, seven episode television show that centers around the management concepts learned in this class. Milestones, or markers, for project planning are to be completed on a bi-weekly basis to ensure that the group is actively working towards overall project completion. Episodes are supposed to be completed on our own time and are supposed to be submitted by November 11, 2018. Each member in The Untouchables completed their own unique episode to contribute for the TV series. Introduction the target audience for our presentation is employees who work in a group within an organization to accomplish a common goal. The target management concepts we discussed in this class are strategic management, planning, centralization and decentralization, evaluating the need for change, managing technological change, managing resources, division of work, process re-engineering, organizational learning, and employee equity. Financial Management Services is a financial advisory firm based in Tarpon Springs, Florida. The new brokerage account processing teams of four is responsible for reviewing and opening new investment slash brokerage accounts for FMS clients. Recently, FMS has experienced a high volume of new accounts forms coming in and the team has been receiving an overload of accounts, resulting in a major delay. The manager of this team, Adrian, comes up with an idea to implement a robotic system to help aid the team in their work. Weary of this idea, the accounts team doesn't know if this robotic processing system will just end up replacing them. The concept of this TV show about management is the process improvement for smaller firms, in particular financial management services. The new accounts team consists of four employees and FMS has no room to grow their workforce. By implementing proper division of work, the team should be able to keep up with the increasing speed of new clientele accounts. Greg uses the unity of command concept of allowing Adrian to implement new strategies and tasks for his team. This will help to avoid any conflicts for employees. The process that Adrian comes up with will allow the team to process the amount of accounts they need to without getting overwhelmed. While management is very keen on this idea, the employees are not so sure. In Milestone 1, everyone within the Untouchable submitted a prompt, compiled into a single Google document, and through a Google Hangout, the team decided that we would proceed to use Sean's prompt. The Untouchables completed the assigned task, finishing character outlines for all four characters and episode outlines for all seven episodes, compiled into a single Google document and submitted. Greg is the head of FMS. 
He is intelligent and easily identifies when there is a conflict within his organization. He performs exceptionally well at keeping the company on track and risk-free. A caring and kind leader full of integrity, Greg is always taking into account his subordinates' feelings. Adrian is the manager of the processing team at FMS. He is known to be well-rounded in his work, making minimal errors in his career at FMS. He is known for his strategic planning techniques and therefore can identify any issues as well as easily resolve them in a timely manner. The processing team. This team consists of two women and two men, one of whom is Adrian. Every individual that helps make the team is each from diverse backgrounds, yet are always able to come together as a whole in order to make important decisions and see viewpoints from multiple mindsets. They all have great worth at ethics. Each of the team members communicates and coordinates effectively and just like Greg, are considerate towards each other's feelings. They are a very close-knit group. Although the robotic processing system is inanimate, it becomes humanized when the other characters feel threatened by it. This character is the conflict of the story at hand, creating answers and problems in the workplace all at once. The RPS is functional and discreet when it accomplishes its work, without allowing for pay. It acts as the same importance as the other characters, further justifying how the robot plays as a main character in this TV show. The RPS does not allow for emotion or personal circumstance to affect the work it provides. Episode Development The introductory episode follows the introduction of the company FMS, a brokerage firm based in Florida run by Greg. Greg has a natural intelligence and thoughtful approach, which makes him well-liked among the FMS employees and clients. While checking up on the new accounts team one day, Greg overhears what he believes to be an issue with the timeliness of the new brokerage accounts being opened. Without wanting to confront the new accounts team directly, Greg waits to see the new accounts manager, Adrian. Adrian has always been a person to find a solution by thinking outside of the box. Episode 2, Issue Management Identification, begins with Greg sitting in his office waiting for Adrian to talk to him. He's checking his email and receives two back-to-back -back calls from clients inquiring about why their brokerage accounts still have not been open two to three weeks after submitting the new accounts forms. Unpleased by hearing this, he walks over to Adrian to see if he knows this is happening. Adrian is unaware of the issue, but being someone who is always looking for areas of improvement and how they make the business processes more efficient and at the same time, more profitable, he makes him the perfect person to take this task head on. This concept of decentralization allows for Greg to ask his lower level management to have authority and responsibility in the decision making process. Greg, making the final decision, uses centralization. Having a good mix of these two helps to keep balance in a small company. It's just a normal day at the office. But something isn't quite right about the workplace. Greg has been hearing from customers all morning about how they've been waiting quite a while for their new brokerage accounts to be opened. Hearing from customers that account openings have been slow is definitely not a good thing, and it's not something that Greg wants to hear since it's not good for the business. The processing team is, are usually the ones that are in charge of account openings. Therefore, Greg decides to go speak to Adrian about what the issue might be. Adrian, I have been receiving phone calls all morning about the slow speed of our account openings. Do you know what the issue could be? Very sorry about that. We have been experiencing overflow with account openings since we are getting more and more customers. The processing team has been very busy trying to fulfill these requests, but just can't keep up. Now having heard this inconvenient truth from Adrian, Greg now goes back to his office thinking about how they can possibly fix this problem, given that it is a detriment to the company's success. As a manager, Greg is taking the interpersonal role as a leader and going to Adrian for help with the issue since Adrian oversees the team every day as their manager.
We are now at the end of episode two. Will Greg be able to help help find a solution to this account opening issue? We will find out in the next episode. In episode three, developmental collaboration on issue, Greg and Adrian try to figure out why this is happening. Talking back and forth about exactly what needs to be changed, Greg and Adrian review dozens of different scenarios and ideas that may work, but most don't seem to align with Greg and FMS's core values. In 2002, FMS was founded by Greg, and the new accounts team that started then is still the new accounts team that is employed at FMS today. Greg, as a caring and kind leader, feels that there is no right reason to dismember the new accounts team. They have done a phenomenal job for 16 years, and have not missed a beat, and shouldn't be punished for the new influxes of clientele. The solution must be an addition to the team that can help them get caught up and stay ahead on account openings. Greg stresses the importance of retention and no layoffs. Greg understands that management concept of equity. Employee equity is knowing that employees must be monitored and supervised while understanding employees must be treated with respect and fairly. Greg believes his process team has created the concept of proper division of work and that, again, they shouldn't be penalized due to the influxes of new clientele. Welcome to Episode 3. Picking up from the last episode, Greg will now meet with Adrian to see what he has come up with. Hello Adrian, have you found something that will help with the slow processing time? Yes I have, I believe that a robotic processing system will benefit us greatly. It will allow us to cut down processing times. Greg's biggest concern in the choice of a solution is how it will affect his workforce. On next week's episode, we will see the implementation of the robotic processing system and how it affects the new accounts processing team. In episode 4, Managerial Problem Solving, Greg and Adrian decide on a solution. They decide to implement a robotic processing system, or an RPS, to further aid the team in tackling their workload. The RPS is designed specifically to quickly add new accounts to the FMS clientele system. In episode 4, we deal with the management theme of handling technological change. This change is something that had to happen. If this problem continues, FMS will continue losing business. Most technological change comes with some form of hesitation. Employees are often worried that new technology will mean a loss for their job. As we saw in the last episode, Greg is very adamant that the RPS is an addition to the team and does not replace them. This team should be acknowledged and rewarded for their work. By adding in the RPS to initiate change, it remunerates the employees by ensuring the team that the robot is specifically designed to help them, not replace them since they all have loyalty to FMS. In the next episode, we will see how Adrian deals with the employee's concerns. In episode five, we look at how to effectively manage employee conflict. The RPS has been implemented and the FMS accounts team is feeling uneasy with this new change. They feel that they will be replaced by this processing system. This is a common fear employees have when new technology is introduced. And while they have these fears, Adrian is adamant to make sure that the employees feel comfortable with this change, but most importantly, that they feel like a weight has been lifted off their shoulders. Adrian is introducing the RPS to ultimately help the new accounts team, not hinder them. The employees have been on the new accounts team since FMS was created. Greg feels a real loyalty to this team 
and wants to make sure they feel secure in their work environment. Adrian understands the problem that will arise when employees are unhappy, so he meets with the team. Adrian has a sort of intervention of sorts with this new accounts team. He listens to their concerns and explains how the RPS is supposed to work. Adrian and the team have not come to a solution, but the conversation has started by the end of this episode. Episode 6, Employee Education, is all about Adrian and the team coming up with a solution. During the intervention, Adrian made sure to teach the team about the RPS and how it actually works. When you understand something, you are less likely to be afraid of it. Adrian also listens to the employee's concerns to make sure he understands while they're upset. Since the RPS is there to aid the team when the work gets overwhelming, they come to this, the decision that instead of working side by side with the RPS, it will only be there when the team needs it. The RPS has the ability to work overnight, so when the team comes in the next day, the work isn't already piled up and the team can start anew. The management theme for this episode is process re-engineering. The first idea is rarely the one to be implemented. Working with a team means everyone must compromise and find a solution that works best for the, the team. Adrian, as a good manager, knows this and made sure the team was included in the decision-making process. Episode 7 is the series Reflection. FMS has always been about innovation and process improvement among all business units. So in this final episode, it concludes with Greg and Adrian performing performance tests on the new robotic system to confirm the efficiency and that it operates the way it is supposed to. Meeting up again in a few weeks, Greg and Adrian review how the client complaint calls have ceased and the robotic system has fit right in with the new accounts team. Greg mentions to Adrian that this was the perfect outcome as employment has not been affected and the team has got caught up. Collaboration is one of the first of several management concepts we see being implemented throughout this series. We see Greg collaborating with Adrian to identify the problem. They work together to bring about a solution. The first few episodes show this. After Greg and Adrian decide on an approach to deal with the FMS issue, they deal with handling technological change. While management is confident in the success of the solution, the new accounts team is not so sure. We again see Adrian involving the team to ensure change is a success. Following this intervention, the process is reimagined to better suit the accounts team and management expectations. With all the themes used throughout these episodes, we see success with the issues identified. For the future management should include the new accounts team, not just Adrian, when discussing issues that are derived from their productions specifically, as they are a great resource on what causes these problems. Reflections As a group, we took this class 100% online, and with that, we knew that this project would have the obstacle of availability among team members. We all had different schedules, making scheduling the video chats difficult. Having all five members in one call was not going to work. However, the proficiency proficient communication skills and each team member's eagerness to keep everyone up to speed on all moving parts of the project, it helped considerably in our ability thus far to produce quality work. This project was tough and challenging. Not only did you have to relate management concepts to the everyday life to retain the information you are reading, but also relate them to a TV show that was inspired from the imagination of one of our classmates. Although this is just an outline and the full project is not complete yet, I'm excited to see our finished project and know that we have worked hard as a team to accomplish it. This project forced our group to be able to efficiently communicate with one another in order to fulfill quick coming deadlines. Our group consisted of individuals with very different schedules and the use of various social media and sharing platforms helped carry us over the hurdle. We have been able to consistently complete consignments by due dates and produce quality work. I am eager to see our finished work. As for the project thus far, there have been a multitude of obstacles to overcome for our team as we are not able to meet in person and we are all very busy people. 
However, I believe that we have been able to overcome these challenges through constant communication, and the product of our teamwork is looking to have very good quality. Assignments have been completed consistently and efficiently. This semester, taking management online definitely showed me my strengths and weaknesses towards my future. When I initially entered into, the, into this course, group work wasn't my strong suit. Throughout the semester, I found multiple new ways to communicate via technology in ways I hadn't ever before. I learned management concepts such as why managers treat employees the way they do, and the reasonings behind it. After this past module, I learned more about the importance of group work. In a management career, which I'm getting my degree in, one must be able to always collaborate with others to share the best ideas and come up with the best solutions. I look forward to finishing and reading about what else management has to teach me. This project has been challenging to say the least. We all have very different schedules, so being able to meet up and actually discuss the project has been difficult. We used video chat and messengers, mainly, to stay in contact with each other. Communication is the foundation of any team, and when you're not talking in person, we've learned to keep our messages short and sweet to get to the point. This project has made clear to me my strengths and what I need to work on going forward in my career. I will use the management themes we have learned in class and through this project for the rest of my life. I am very proud of what we've been able to accomplish, especially having the schedules that we all do. This project has showed me just how important collaboration is with any team, but especially that of a workplace.